Today is a very exciting day. This is super weird. It rained harder than it has since we've been back. We can't remember if we left the hatch open or not. These are the tales of Boab. I am about to go out there and grind down fiberglass in the cockpit sole that we installed. We put our scuppers in in the back for drainage and then we fiberglassed over that, which was pretty stupid really because it's raised a little bit. And so we're just getting a little bit of water that's collecting. Our holes need to be level or lower than the level of the cockpit sole. We've got this awesome multi-tool. Thanks to Jack, Jack, who's got our back. Thank you, Jack. This is a vicious looking attachment here. It's super rough and raw, and I think it's, we're gonna start with it and see. We got this awesome mask now. Um, the best I could find were snowboard goggles. These babies are classics though, and I think they're gonna do well for eye protection. This is definitely one of the most brutal jobs you're ever gonna do on a boat, grinding fiberglass. We didn't even have to do rock, paper, scissors. Bill just offered to get out there and go for it. That actually went pretty well. One thing that I was thinking about is in Denver, I worked alongside some roofers who happened to mostly be Mexican. They were all Mexican. And they used to always wear long sleeve shirts, hoods on their heads and jeans. And it would be so hot and I'd be up there just wondering how do they do it? But now I see, I mean, I've been sweating in here, but I feel fine. It's like 85, 90 degrees out. It's pretty roasting out here. But I actually felt pretty good during that whole process. This tool is phenomenal. So if you're gonna be on a boat, I'm sure if you already live on a boat, you know this, but these multi-tools are amazing. <sighs> Today we are very excited to be cleaning the cockpit. We are hopefully going to be painting it within the next couple days. So first we gotta clean the entire surface, uh, prep it with some solvent. We're using a mineral spirit solvent to de-wax the gel coat. And the application method is basically just a swipe. Um, what we read is you don't want to go back and forth. You just want to swipe once, rotate your cloth, swipe again. And yeah, hopefully that's removing all of our surface contaminants and wax. And do a lot of sanding. That was a pretty easy job. Um, so we're sanding down this gel coat so we can paint it. And it's kind of intense because we've got all this teak here. So just like sanding in between the teak very carefully with uh, these pads. Michael actually voted to remove all of the teak and plug the holes and just leave it out and I kind of fought for the teak. She makes some good points. One, it's kind of uncomfortable, but we're going to make some cushions. Two, it's, it's a lot of upkeep, but I, uh, I stood for the teak, and so at this point, she's gonna stay. And Michael said, well, you did kind of earn it by doing all that taping. One thing that's making this job um, a lot better is this wet dry back right here. It's a little shop back. And that baby was picked up at Walmart a while back, a few years ago, and she's performing well. And it looks like we're on to the next phase, which is rub it all down with acetone. Yeah, one more acetone rinse, and then we're, we're ready to paint. This is super weird. I mean, we've never worked with 
I guess this particular type of epoxy before what we put on the hull was different um, but it's like totally solid we haven't tried to mix it or anything yet but watch this two epic motorcycle rides and $26 later we are back with a solution that paint was definitely not right and we pulled out another gallon and it was jellified as well so they must have got a bad batch of Tropicale. There was no choice but to go with the Master Coat. And it was more expensive, but it, it, I think this is gonna be better stuff anyway. And this is a one to one mix ratio as opposed to the one to eight. So I'm actually just getting a little bit stressed out with this process and Joel decided to tag in and give it a try. Yeah, this stuff is like, Today we're a little bit nervous to go to the boat. Uh, I, I would say it rained harder than it has since we've been back, real hard. And that was about eight hours after our paint job, so we're not super worried about the epoxy paint that we applied. But we can't remember if we left the hatch open or not. Right. We might have left the hatch open. We left a drill out. That's a little concerning. Yeah, I'm telling you, this was a hard rain. It was just gushing down the gutters. We'll show you where we parked the bike and that actually acted as a dam to hold up some trash. Just got back and found out that we did indeed leave the hatch open. Just during a nice yoga session, sitting there laying in Savasana. And then the mind starts wondering and it's like, oh no, did we close the hatch? We didn't, but it's actually not too bad in here. Okay, this is the fun part. We're covering up all the red with white. Two part polyurethane paint mixing in process. It's pretty, pretty liquidy already. Wow. Super liquidy. And we're supposed to add some. So it's three paint to thinner. one. I'm a little skeptical. It's kind of like water right now. But maybe that's how it goes on so smooth. Yeah. Look at the consistency. It's kind of. It's a lot different from our epoxy paint. All right, looks like the first coat is about dry enough. We're gonna bust out the brand new paint brushes here, and then we are going to apply the second coat, which should get any of the spots that we that missed just a little bit. You know, this should really shine it up, but this paint really spreads nicely. Yeah, it's fun to paint with, actually. Yeah, it's nice and glossy, and it just kind of... Second layer done, time to peel some tape. Say hello to my little friend. Hey guys, today is a very exciting day because we are about to finish up this cockpit paint job. I mean, we're not finishing it all today, but we are getting started on covering up this epoxy fiberglass floor that we put in. Joel, are you excited? I'm super excited. What this is the last step before we get to install the steering pedestal. Before we get to do some mechanical things again and stop working with epoxy and fiberglass for the time being. Yep, what? and put the rudder back to on and then we can splash pretty soon. Boom. You can see the finish line. What are you doing right now? Uh, tape, my favorite job. What do you think? It looks so good. What oh looks my gosh. good? Check it out, the, the cockpit. Man, this is exciting. Whoa. Boom! 
We're very sorry to have robbed you of Lola time in the last episode. Here's your Lola. We love starting our day giving her a big old hug. And last night it rained and poured a whole bunch. Luckily it had enough time to dry. We also looked at the forecast today and it looks like we have a chance of rain at two o'clock. So that ruins our plans. We were hoping to have a marathon day today. It's like 8.30, we've been up for a few hours, we're feeling good and ready to go. But unfortunately, we're only gonna get one coat on of the epoxy paint and we'll have to come back the next day and finish it off. Lola. So four years later, we finally get a dead cat and some, some nice little uh, sleeves for the GoPro. So this is for sound quality. Hopefully our sound gets a little better. Thanks for sticking with us through the bad sound days. We're getting better. We've got to give a huge shout out to Jack for sending us all of the sandpaper. We have been going through it like wildfire. Just mixing some epoxy paint here to put the last layer on. We're looking up at the sky and it said we had until two o'clock but we're getting a little nervous. That's a big cloud. Oh, there's more. Those always like to stir the pot. <laughs> Red layer, epoxy layer, both layers completely done. And now we're ready to go for the polyurethane that's gonna make it UV resistant, really nice, white, bright, glossy, sexy. Kinda like that. <laughs> <laughs> we finished the first coat and before we go get some lunch we're gonna go meet Beef O'Keefe and Jana. Well we've met them but you're about to meet these guys and they're pretty cool. Right. They're having some rough experiences so we want to share the honest truth about this boatyard. We've been loving our time here. There's obvious sacrifices but Let's go talk to them and see what they're going through right now. We learned a thing or two about relaxing before we were able to love our time here. Tranquilo. <laughs> what do you think, Joel? I actually think it looks okay. But... What about the bits where there's black coming through, the blue? It doesn't take much. Okay. Of a Introduce eye. yourself. Hi, I'm Jana. I'm from Naughty Nook Sailing Adventures. Me and my partner Beef, we've got SB Don Quixote. We've been here for five months now, but only on the hard, really working for about three weeks. And we're over it. So I don't know how these guys have lasted so long. <laughs> All right, what are you going through right now? Essentially, we're pissed off because it's taken about three weeks to get our boat sanded, which is should be just a couple of days job for a bottom job. And when they've done the bottom job, it's not really done to our liking. Why would they want to go check your channel out and maybe learn a little bit more? Because this, we only had a little bit of time to kind of speed them through what you're dealing with. Yeah, we're on a mission to hunt perfect waves. <laughs> He's a mad surfer and I'm a keen freediver, so we're all about living on the ocean. We did hear that living on your boat is just working on it in tropical locations. So far that seems to be fairly true, 50% yep. of the time. We're hoping that that changes over time though. Go show Naughty Nook some love. Oh, <laughs> Just say oh, the bums, the, the bums sent you. They're an up and coming very, very early channel. And I'm really surprised that there's not more subscribers yet. It's but I think it's a matter of time. But it's growing. But that's how it starts yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. So. Thank you. These guys are so inspirational, and we we were amazed at all the bum viewers too, all the comments and, and everything. And that's the kind of audience we, we want too. It's amazing. You guys are really you guys a lot are of so helpful comments. A yeah. lot of helpful people. All right, so we just went and got a bite to eat, and it's pretty crazy how fast this stuff dries. We were gone less than an hour, and we're ready to recoat now. So we're mixing, and coat number two is coming up quick. We'll check back in once that's done. <sighs> Looks nice, don't it? We are about to add our third layer and this one's gonna be a dicey one because we're gonna put some non-skid on the floor and we're just gonna put another coat on the sides here to really make it shine.
thanks for watching guys i hope you really enjoyed this episode this was a totally gratifying project for me like getting the paint on makes the boat look totally different almost brand new did you enjoy this project joel no michael says it was a fun project and i think it was really tedious and it was actually brutal all the taping and then acetone sand acetone paint wait acetone sand acetone paint wait peeling the tape <laughs> I, I mean, I do think the last layer was pretty gratifying, and it is now looking at it. Yeah, it, it was a long process. You're right. But next week, we are going to take, or yeah, you're going to have a break. You're going to get a break from the <laughs> We're DIYs. not going to take a break. We're going to have an epic We're day. We're going to give you a break. With some fellow YouTubers who are here in the harbor. We have Sailboat Olympics plan. We're not going to spoil the surprise, but at least you're going to get a break from the DIY stuff, and we're going to have some high energy, ridiculous content. So stay tuned for that. Um, some of you may know what this is in the side of my head. Others of you, it'll, it'll um, come to light in the next episode. Now we can install our rudder and we can put our prop, our uh, steering pedestal. Yeah, from the wheel to the rudder, our entire steering is disassembled and now we're ready to put that back on the boat. That's, that's really making headway towards getting us back in the water. We're really close, guys. Hang in there. Hang in there. Thank you for sticking around for this massive DIY marathon. It's been it's been rough, and, and there's still... We, we do need to address. We need to sand the teak. There's going to be some sanding and some staining because we got a little paint here and there on the teak. So this isn't completely done yet. We also got to do a little touch-up. But I want you guys to know this is the reality. If you're looking to get a boat, the boat work never ends. So you got to love the process, okay? Keep that in mind. We love you. Thanks for being here. These are the tales of Boab. Focus. Boab! Lola dipped. How come you're so quiet?